Robertson. No, 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 no. Howler, get it out. What the hell is that? That's an absolute howler. Oh. oh, and when we play so freaking well, we're losing again. Hang on. Oh, keeper, saved it, shoot again. Yeah! Southampton Yes guys, welcome back to what is another video and this is indeed a big one a big one indeed we have got coming today for Plymouth Argyle It's our South Coast trip of the season St Mary's, Southampton, the Saints We are off to Hampshire for round 25 of the season. It's Southampton away today, guys. Southampton versus Plymouth Argyle. Oh, this is a massive game coming up. Our South Coast game of the season. Our only one, unless we get one of the likes of Bournemouth or Brighton in the FA Cup. But yeah, Southampton, our South Coast game of the season. Now, of course, you may as well remember, we played Southampton earlier in the season, round three at home park. We cruelfully lost 2-1 it looked to be a one-all draw Ryan Hardy scored for us Nathan Teller and Shea Adams scored for Saints Shea Adams got a winner at stoppage time it was such a heartbreaking result because I really thought we were at least going to get a point I thought we deserved a point to be honest because we were in the game the whole 90 minutes but Shea Adams had other ideas Southampton made it 2-1 and Saints inflicted our first defeat of the season and they're also one of only three clubs to win at home park this season. The other two, of course, being Millwall and Swansea. So yeah, it was a brilliant win for Saints, to be fair. Unlucky for us, we played very well. I thought we got really hard done by, but there we are, what can you do? We have to move on from it. But the last time, however, this is where things get more optimistic. The last time we went to St Mary's, Argyle won 1 0 in the 2010 11 season in League One thanks to Luke Summerfield getting the winner for us. While Saints had the likes of Adam Lalana and Alex Oxley Chamberlain playing for them that game. Jose Fonte, another club legend for Saints. We, we actually have a good record against them, really. It's not that bad. Because before that, we had a 0 0 draw in 08 09 at St Mary's. In 07 08, we beat them 2-0, thanks to Peter Halmosi and Jim Patterson. What a win that was. But the season before that, Saints won 1-0 at St Mary's. But it's quite an even Stevens record, to be honest, because we have beaten them at home park in the past as well. But recently, our record against them at home park has not been very good. This season, of course, in 2010-11, also in League One, 
exactly the same. Reason why we went down, one of the reasons why we went down, oh, it's gonna be interesting indeed, this match. So that's my only hope coming into today's fixture is that the last time we played them, we beat them at St. Mary's. So Gunner. I'd love to see something, something similar. Gunner. Would be very interesting indeed. Gunner. I'd love it exactly the same, honestly. Come on, you greens. That's all I can say. So my re the record says otherwise, but form-wise at the moment, I can't lie, guys. I'm not confident. I'm not confident at all. Southampton are coming into this South Coast match. 5-0 winners last time on Boxing Day. Dismantling Swansea in the process with a 5-0 win. I had a dozy to score. He did score. They dismantled Swansea. They are top form at the moment. 16 games unbeaten. And with Leeds' defeat to Preston, they've moved up to third in the table. So they're bearing down on the top two, Leicester and Ipswich at the moment. So they will be clear favourites coming into this game. No surprise why. Bang on form. I'm hoping our record says otherwise and we get a Christmas slash New Year's miracle by getting our first away win of the season at St. Mary's, a ground we have won before in the past, that we've won at before in the past. Be different this time because obviously the last time we went to St. Mary's, it was the 2010-11 season, but who knows? It's Argyle at the end of the day, so who knows? But we'll see what happens regardless. I mean, even if we at least get a point today, against the team that's currently third in the table. That's still a very good result from us, regardless. So, again, it'll be really interesting to see. Ones to look out for, they've got Shea Adams, Adam Armstrong, who I think is the best striker in the league at the moment. Idozi, Alcaraz, Gavin Bazunu in goal, who we know from our League One days when he was at Portsmouth, Saints' his arch rivals. It is a South Coast... Um, battle tonight because Portsmouth are away to Exeter tonight and that will be interesting that tells you goes back to well my my videos from the start of the season so at Fratton Park and Home Park score prediction uh my heart says an exact repeat of 2010-11 where we get our first away win of the season and win 1-0. The memories of Luke Summerfield scoring that winner. But my head says, that's what my heart says. My head says, my heart also says we can nick a point, one all. Because it would be typical us to get at least a point at a place against a club we really do not expect it against this season. Considering we're 16th in the league, and Saints are third. So, yeah, we'll be interested. No wonder they're the clear favourites. 16 games unbeaten they are. I hope we can stop that. My head, though, says Southampton are going to win 4-1 with a dozy to score. I so hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But they're bang on form at the moment. I ain't going to underestimate them one bit. Well, I shouldn't anyway. If anything, they shouldn't underestimate us. Because... Well, we're going to be the underdogs coming into this. But I don't know. It will be interesting to see. Either way, though. Oh, it is a big one, guys. A big one indeed. An away day. I've done in the past before, to be fair. So I know what it's like. It's really, it's really good, though. So I'm excited for it. But, yeah. I'm going to get on the coats and find half. Rosevear's with me. New away day for you. I've yeah, done it, it before, so I know what it's like. But a new away day for you. How are you feeling? Yeah. It's a cold one. <laughs> that's it's the only. That's, the only that's all I could say. It it's is cold bloody cold. I just want to get on this coach and just relax, really. Yeah. I've got my I've got my Tim Hortons breakfast in there, so I've got my breakfast in my bag at the moment. Nice. So, but yeah, no. Um, it'll be interesting. Obviously, I know the place. Number two. Oh, yeah. So. I know the place well because I went to uni in Southampton, coach. up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green army. And yeah, we will see you over there.
jump out cars or jump out bands In the club third in the league we've made it to Southampton for our south coast trip for this season we're in for a hard one today guys I'm tonight as I should say actually I really hope and prove wrong though I'm just looking forward to this and this is my third season here in a row now because I went I went the last two times uh, while I was at uni I went with Chelsea because obviously that's my dad's team so I wanted to see what the away day was like in general but now we're finally here for an away day with my local club. I'm so excited for it. Green Army! This is something that I want to see at Home Park one day. Um, Look at that view, oh my God. I mean, I should be saying what Roseviz just said there, guys, but I've been here so many times before, so that's probably why I'm not saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Right then, we're here. As you all know, we've made it to Southampton, a ground I've done before, as you all know. A new ground for Harvey, meanwhile. Yeah, I'm just That I'm looks just like the look. face of um, daydreaming. Because um, obviously, well, the last big stadium I went to was years ago, and that was Old Trafford. And obviously, a couple of months Rhodes, ago. Leeds, Leicester. Yeah, Leeds, Leicester. But the biggest one I've ever been to is Old Trafford. And well, I mean, it's the biggest in the country it's anyway. It's the biggest in the fair. country, uh, but not, well, and Wembley as well, but not, well, when it's club football, it is Manchester United, obviously. But when you go obviously. to a stadium like this and they're in a the championship, it just blows you away. Really oh, blows yeah. you away. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because I've um, even before this season, I've seen Southampton in the championship in my lifetime, even with us. Mm. And that's my, like I said at the start of this video, guys, that's my only confidence for tonight is that we have a good record here. Beat them 2-0 in 07-08, thanks to Hal Mosey. Beat them in 2010-11 in League One, thanks to Luke... Um, Luke Summerfield, but and that was when Saints had Lalana and Oxlade Chamberlain in their team as well. So that was interesting. And Jose Fonte, another former Premier Jose League man. Fonte, Jesus See the names are getting back to him already. Yeah, I, I recognise most of these names. But yeah, no, I've um, sadly I do think they're going to win four one tonight. What do you reckon, Hav? Well, I've got a dozy to score, but what are your feelings at the moment now coming well, here? Uh, well, of course, they're on a beaten run. There are 16 games unbeaten. And they're chasing they're Ipswich and Leicester at the top they now. They are, yeah. But I'm going to say 3-1. It's, it's going to be it's going to be inevitable that they'll most likely win this game. I've gone 4-1. 
to Saints, unfortunately. I hope I'm wrong. My heart says a 1 0 to us or a 1 all draw, but what are you saying, half, for I said, now? I said 3 1. Um, I, don't, I think it's inevitable. That Who have you got to score? Adam Armstrong. Oh, well, he is the best striker he's, in the league at the moment, which doesn't surprise me. He's the best attacking midfielder in the league, and it's no doubt that he's going to be involved nearly in every play in this game. Oh, absolutely. I had Saints fourth in my predictions. Where have you got the moment? You had eighth at the start of the season. Yeah, now, where do you think they'll, they'll be at the moment? Um, I so this is building up to my upcoming midway predictions. It'll video. Be between, it'll be, it will be between fourth and second. I feel like... Don't think they'll win it? Maybe, mm, no, they won't win the league. They won't win the league, but they will get... I think it'll either get fourth or fourth to second. OK. Their, their style of play now has gradually got a lot better over Russell Martin like we said that's very true time because, because they were when, when they were on that terrible form they were, all they were doing realistically as you would say was getting to grips with their team and now look where they're yeah, at yeah get to grips with the team get to grips with the players and it gives them time to adjust to a new style of play oh exactly and we'll see what happens as for Argyle who are you confident for tonight Wow. Someone is standing out for it you has lately. To be I knew you'd say that. It, well, it, it has to be. It has From the to interview be that you said earlier. That's it, Green Army. Yeah. From the interview that I saw earlier, that is um, Tardis Hero was Neymar. Yeah. That's, that's to be honest, he does kind of remind me of him a little bit in the way his movement is so silky on the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His shot, his shot power. I've never seen a player who could shoot a ball like that so hard. So I can see, I can see that. But as well, I want his ads to play. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't know we were in Truro right now. Lovely. Right then, now that we're here and while the band's playing, we'll get an extended view and all that. It's predicted lineup time because the lineups are going to be out in about 10, 15 minutes. It's about 10 to 5 now, I think it is, if I'm right, Rosemere. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, right, predicted lineup. Now, I've seen Harvey England on um, Fan Hub earlier on Instagram. So, all I know is my lineup's a lot different to that, that's for sure. But what am I going to go with? Right, first of all, before we get into the lineup, I don't want to sound harshly on this, but as one person, we cannot start tonight. Matt Butcher. Does anyone remember Cardiff? So yeah, everything you need to know. We cannot start Butcher tonight. I'm sorry, Dew Snip and Nance, we just can't. It didn't work at Cardiff. And I don't, no offense, I don't think it's going to work at a team that's third in the league at the moment, which is even harder. But right, what am I gonna go with? Oh God, Hazard and goal. I mean, there's no other option. Cooper's injured. Um, and I don't think Callum Burton's gonna get a chance to be honest with you. Yeah, Hazard and goal. A back four of... Now, I was so irritated he didn't start during Cardiff when he was superb against Birmingham. And I am going to back him to start again tonight, no matter what. Joe Edwards and Kane Kessler-Hayden. And then a back two of the centre-backs of Gibson and Plegazuelo. Um, midfielders. Right, this is where it gets tricky. I would say Halton. He might still be, he might still be ill. I don't know, because he was during Cardiff at the end of the day. He might be back for tonight, but I don't know. If he is back, I think he'll come on like the second half and all that. So I'm going to go Randall, Azaz and Kundal and then a front three of... I'm going to go Whitaker, Callum Wright and Ballyman. But I just, I don't want a start in Ben Wayne tonight. It's as simple as that. I just, I just don't. Or don't start Callum Wright, give Freddie Asaka a chance. It's bloody New Year's, isn't it? But yeah, we'll be interested. Although, I'm, I want to double check this because I did see this earlier, but... I'll let the chanting go first. Didn't they say Hardy's back tonight? But at least on the bench. Possibility, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I won't start Hardy just in case, but if he's on the bench tonight, that'd be great. Who knows? It might change the game. He scored at home park against these lot earlier in the season, as you all remember. But we'll be interested to see. That's what I'm going with. Never mind. He is here tonight, guys. Look at that. Ah... Up the house. Guys, look at this statistic here. There we are. You know what that means? We're now officially the fourth best team in the country. Up the Janners. So Connor has a Bally member, Jordan Halton, so we won spot on really. Plaggy, Edwards, Whitaker. So we are starting Whitaker now. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, carry on. Gibson, Finnazar's good. 
Adam Randall, Galloway, oh, learn this mate, and Ben Wayne. <sighs> I can't lie, apart from Wayne guys, I'm actually pretty pleased with that lineup, but we'll be interesting to see how that turns out now. Who's on the bench? So Dan Starr's back. Yeah, he's back for suspension. I forgot to mention that Brad as well. Brad Hardy's back. Bundu's back. Bundu's back. Oh, it's Bundu back as well? Yeah, they're both back. Oh, get back. in. Yeah, Kessler Hayden, Luke Cundall, Callum Wright, Matt Butcher, f*** off. Um, <laughs> um, Mikkel Miller and Callum Burton. So good to see Bundu and Hardy back. Take note, Rotherham. Southampton's lineup, everyone. Bazunu, Walker Peters, Harwood, ba Harwood Bayless, Fednarek, Manning, okay. Charles, Smallbone, Alcaraz, Adozi, Adams, and Adam Armstrong. You know who I wish started tonight? Someone you don't particularly ain't a fan of. Mason Holgate. <laughs> we would have won tonight if that was possible. <laughs> Is he on the bench at least? Yeah, he is. That's so funny. Imagine they bring him on the second half. Bring him on because he's f Who else is on their bench? Uh, Stuart Armstrong, Fraser Dibbling, Amo Amaye, Amayao, I think that's his name. Mara Aribo, Stevens, Stevens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Former Argyle man, Jack Stevens. He's from Tor Point in Cornwall. And then Lumley. I've never heard of him. You know what? You know what? I thought Stuart Armstrong would start tonight, so that does surprise me. But there we are. There is always a second half, though, so he might come on. Knowing Russell Martin as well. I won't be doing a burger review tonight, guys, like I did at Loftus Road, but someone else is instead. Yeah, What's yeah. that burger like? Yeah, lovely. How much out of 10? Um, if you had to pick I'll now. Say, I'll probably say an 8. That means it's very good. <laughs> that is our welcome greeting for you. That is their theme tune right there. I've got Evan, a Southampton fan, with me at the moment. How are you feeling at the moment? Third in the league, 16 unbeaten. Yeah. You confident for tonight, I'll take it. Yeah, confident, especially at home. Yeah, um, he just dismantled Swansea 5-0. Yeah. What a performance that was as well. Same as Blackburn, 4-0. 4-0. Nil nil. So, home, so that, means, that means statistically this might end up being bloody 6-0 yeah, tonight and I'm going to be bricking it. Especially with your away form as well. Oh moment. yeah, no, we do not talk about our away form, but I'll tell you what my heart does say, though. The last time we came here, we did win 1-0 in 2011. We were both in League One together. You went up that season. We went down. Uh, Luke Summerfield scored for us. And this is back when you had Lalana, Fonte and Oxley chamberlain playing. But either way, what do you think the score's going to be tonight? I've gone 4-1 to you guys I'd, I'd go with a dozy. I'd go 3 to us, but there is a chance that you could snatch it 1-0. Oh, maybe you snatch OK. A draw, but I think at home, we're too good. To away, be fair, I'd bite away, people's hand off for a draw tonight. So, yeah. yeah. But I think I think you can possibly snatch something. I mean, when we came to your ground, you lot were quite good. Oh, before. yeah. Did you go home park in August? Yeah. What did you think as an away um, game? Great away day, especially in the summer. But oh, home, fair home enough. fans were good as well. Yeah. What some of the best. I'm players. still infuriatingly gutted from it because I really thought we were going to get a point, yeah. and Adam's got that. We, we, we won't great. And I saw your limbs were going wild over there, which yeah. is I was understandably so. Yeah. So yeah, I was gutted, but there we are. But we played well that game. Yeah, we I, played I, think, well. I think you definitely gave us a good game. We weren't on top form again. Our way yeah. form's not great, but no. at home, I don't know if it could go. Very one-sided. That, that's the only thing. No, fair enough. Is there anyone for our goal you are nervous for tonight? With our players? Oh yeah. Well, oh, well everyone's <laughs> nervous. Good old Morgs, isn't he? Yeah. So, oh, brilliant. And who should we look out for tonight for Saints? I picked a Dozy, who I've scored yeah, tonight. I, I, I haven't checked the lineup. I've just come. Straight I know work, Rebo's but... on the bench. I know yeah. Stuart Armstrong's on the bench. I'd but say if I'm also started. looking out for well. You got you got Pazunu in goal, who we know from our League One days. He was at your obviously the word I can't really say around here. Obviously. <laughs> back then and then uh, well you've also got the best striker in the league I'm looking out for Adam Armstrong yeah. tonight but at the moment where do you think you'll finish this season but you are chasing Ipswich and Leicester yeah. now at the moment um, and you've overtaken Leeds with their inconsistency lately it's, it's a tough one I think we can push automatics I was hoping edge of playoffs towards oh, okay. the bottom of the season but now looking at us we should get playoffs if we snatch oh, automatics so. that'd be a bonus I think. oh okay fair enough yeah. um where did you have yourselves at the start of the season? Just out of interest. I had you fourth, which I, is I in the playoffs. Six, seven. Oh, really? Right Were you not confident edge. at the no, start? No. Is that just because of like how last season went and all that? Yeah, last season was awful, but yeah. also I think new manager, yeah, 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 same. And obviously, new players after team. ten seasons back yeah. in the second tier, just like a new refurbishment I, I and all that. I think we were going to like sort of edge it, and then next season push for like. 
automatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a lot better than before, so... No, I'm fair enough, it's fair enough. Who would you say has been your best player so far this season? If you had to pick one. Oh, it's a tough one. Um, Thin Downs. Um, recently, he's sort of That's not, good been, shout, not to be been fair. scored as much. Yeah. i say Thin Downs has been amazing. Benderak's definitely had a... But well, he's start, been quality so. for you guys yeah. over the years, hasn't he, Benderak? Like, he's been at this club for since the so Premier League days, yeah. hasn't he? He's so. a bit a little bit... Iffy, but also Bazunu since last season he made all those mistakes. He's oh just, yeah, yeah. He's been a different keeper. He's made a few, but this season, but he's just he's so much better. And Armstrong. Well, oh, of but, course, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Uh, where do you think we'll finish at the moment? Please don't say bottom three. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We're, we're currently 16 for the moment. We're yeah. eight points ahead of the relegation zone, but we're also eight points behind the playoffs I think, now. I think you'll stay up and I think you'll get about, I think 11 would be 11? a good season. Oh, that's yeah. a fist bump right there. <laughs> I don't see us being top half at all, but I will take it any day of the week. To be fair, I had us 13 since the start of the season, so who knows? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, no, you never know, do you? Nah, fair enough. And also for me now, it depends on who our new manager is going to be. Yeah and who we buy in the January transfer window, but I love the squad we have right now. I think we'll be fine, personally. Yeah. Speaking of that, we'll do, now that we're at the halfway point of the season, this is giving me some research for my upcoming midway predictions okay. video for the Championship. Give me the three clubs you reckon that will go up and the three that will go down, and obviously the third club being going up, being the playoff winner okay. and all that. Um, Leicester, 100%. So you think Leicester will win the league? Yeah. Um, Got to say, Saints automatic. But Fair enough. Do so you think you'll overtake it, Switch? Yeah, and I think as much as Ipswich have a quality squad, they've. I mean, they've been flying this season, haven't they? I mean, they were, they were in the same league as us yeah. last season. They took it to another level. I just think the issue is, with Leeds being so good as well, I think Leeds will win in the playoffs. You think Leeds will win the playoffs? So it'll be the same three that went down and go straight back up. Yeah, I think Ipswich will tear off a little bit, get playoffs, but I think they might just come against Leeds in the final and lose it. And oh, OK. Fair enough. Three, Rotherham. They, OK. They're, they're probably one of the worst I've seen this season. QPR aren't doing too great, but they've got a new manager in. So I think maybe Huddersfield, oh, Rotherham. OK. I think Wednesday to edge it then. Wednesday or QPR, I don't know which one because Danny rolls at Wednesday. But QPR. He is, obviously you were at Hillsborough first game of the season. Yeah. Did you go Hillsborough at some I, I, I couldn't be to work. Ah, fair enough. I thought, again, a lot of players have changed since then, but I think now with their new manager, I think we'll go, we'll go QPR to go That's down. the only relief I have for tonight <laughs> is that we don't have to worry about Teller tonight. Yeah. And he's quality player. What he did against in the, in the away game. Yeah, at home so park, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely yeah. not. Before we leave... Yeah. Um, other channels do this and I may as well do it. Can you give me what your favourite Saints chant is? If you had to pick one, don't have to sing it and all that, but if you had to pick one, I know I'm going to hear the marching band in a few minutes' time, yeah, that's, regardless. See, that, that's, so. Obviously, a win the Saints is amazing, but I think we've got a few which are quite good. Um, what I find so hilarious for tonight is that every chant, every club we go to, even the Southern clubs, when the ref is against us, we usually chant, go back home, beat you off, you dirty Northern. This is just like Plymouth, as oh, really? south as you can get, yeah. this place is. And we will still bloody yeah. chant that tonight. You did it in the home game, so yeah. I was like, oh, did you south do it in the home game? Well, you, you, I remember. Oh, yeah, we did it in the home game, like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get how south you are, but. Yeah. My, yeah, mate, I mean, who's, my mate who's a Boardman fan literally messaged yeah. me going, classic, oh, I'll go old chant, yeah. isn't it? I was like, to be fair, well, no one's further south than us, so. Um, to be fair with the child, I think Red Army's a nice, simple one, but. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh, I mean, um, EIEI up the football league we go. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. No, I think that's probably the best at the moment. But nah, fair enough. It's favourite. Uh, all right, well, either way, best of luck for tonight. I'm bricking it, but I'm, I hope I prove wrong. But no, enjoy it, mate. Enjoy it. And yeah, no, thank you. You too, mate. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Right, our only South Coast match for this season. Let's enter it. Big game coming for the mighty boys in green. Up the Argyle. On it, on it. Right. Oh, look, they're literally talking about the Oh, yeah, but yeah, they're playing Miracle in the background, which is exactly what we need tonight, an away day Miracle. Come on, Argyle. There you are, 153 miles we've travelled. By going the wrong way. Come on, the Greens. Green are mine. It's what we need tonight, Ellie Golding, a Miracle. I love this stadium so much. It's such a good stadium. I've been here before and it's good to be back. It is good to be back. This is what you're gonna hear tonight, Southampton.
Green and white Bobby, are they? Green and white Bobby, are they? <laughs> Bazuna on our end. I don't know whether that's because of his Pompey links. I don't know. To be fair, I think Pompey find him annoying anyway for going to here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Number ten. Adams. Here we go, guys. Come on. Oh, we're kicking off as well. That's exactly what we've done. Come on, boys. Forget the chances of this game, go for it. Jesus Christ. Hey, that's some, that's some defending there by Adam. There's only one difference to this game. Rosevear hasn't got his job tonight. This is a six o'clock kickoff, so we ain't gonna know the other scores until around full time. <laughs> Adams just fired that past Collar Hazard and it's offside. Sit down, shut up, sit down, shut up. Oh Jesus Christ, that's it Julio, get rid of it, beat him to it Joe, never mind. Terrible. Mumba losing the ball to Smallbone and Gibbo saved us. Mistakes again. Nearly 1-0 Southampton, again. Been the much dominant team so far. We have had no chances towards their end so far. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I mean, we just chanted to them, you're just this bus stop in Portsmouth. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, considering that two of their fans went past me and Harvey going, oh, Exeter, Exeter, shut up. Oh, keep the ball, boys. That's it. We're to go with it back. It's there, mate. Oh, good ball. Go on, Jordan. And of course, it's Wayno that loses it. That was good so well. Try again, Mumba. That's it. Oh, bugger off, Ray. Bloody Saints. <laughs> Your voice just sums it up. Oh, that was poor from Gibbo. He's trying to look for who was ahead of him. But we can't keep giving them balls like this because this is what Saints are dangering us for. That's it, go on, Finn. Fine way, no. 
and our Saints' defence beating us to it. We're playing counter attack game. We are, we are playing counter attack game. We've got 10 playing counter attack I know! Bring Hardy on, bring Isaka on! Sober Lionel, Bilbo, I know! I wouldn't have started Wayno tonight, honestly. But yeah, just lucky we're not 1 0 down. Shea Adams this score, but thankfully it was offside. Saints corner. Dealt with by Julio. Oh my god, that's hit the bar. Clear it, clear it. The chances they've had, it should be 1 0 Southampton right now. We have thankfully not conceded. That's it, Rams. That's it, Finn. Take him on, Norks. Take him on. Take him on. Yeah, not quite. I thought Wayno was going to lose it again. Someone's got to get into him, or they're going to shoot just like that. Still nil nil. Hang on, hang on. Ah. Lads, get in your bodies right now of the 2010 11 memories of our 1 0 win here. Get that momentum. Or 07 08 when we won 2 0, thanks to Halmosi. <laughs> Again, nearly 1 0 to them. They're dominating us. That's it. That's Galloway defending that. Saints aren't done yet. Say, I say, don't bloody give it to Adam Armstrong. What was that? Go on, remember, take Walker Peters on. I thought I was going in. Hazard had that. Oh. Had him covered. That was brilliant from Joe Edwards. Oh, exactly. See what I mean? We're at another ground, as south as you can get, and we chant Northern at them. It's hilarious. This is where I'm expecting a Leeds where, oh, they're going to go, oh, Premier League, you'll never sing that. We'll get there one day, Saints. Come on, Joe, take him on. Jordan. And Finn. They've kept it in, to be fair. Walker Peters. Right, Wayno, please. That's the foul, ref. To be fair, I can't blame Wayno for that one. We're being outplayed, but we've given everything we can. Yeah, basically that. It's the two number twos against each other. Get in, Houghton. Another reminder why we always need to start him. Yeah. Offside anyway, but that's, yeah, that's uh, well. Lino said everything. I know. Mumba clearly shirt pulled there by Smallbone. Booking every day of the week. This is a chant they'll hate the most that we sing to because they're, as they're, they are southern proud saints are. Someone deal with Walker Peters. That was nearly an own goal by Brendan Galloway, but we've cleared it. I know. It wouldn't have been as bad as Butchers, to be fair. Yeah, but still. Agreed. Keep playing. Get up. Please come on, Finn. Oh my god, we're to go. We're 
It's a car! Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Come on, boys! That's a clear booking on us as there. We have a chance. We have a chance in this game. We do. The mistakes Yellow card. Azaz clearly fouled. Yeah, Saints fans will hate this chance so much. They are as southern as you can get, just like us. Well done, Connor. Well done. That's Pleggy. That's as well. What I mean is that Connor got hands to it. Yeah, but if it wasn't for the book from Pleggy, that would have gone in. Yeah, agreed, agreed. That's it, half time. Well, I, all I can say is, guys, I am chuffed with that first half so far. Absolutely delighted with that first half. Oh, look at all these Saints fans giving it all. Unlucky, but there is always a second half. Delighted with that first half so far in a game that we've been absolutely battered and outclassed in so far. And we have given it our all. The players have given it their all. Big second half coming, but nil-nil. I will bite your hand off for a nil-nil at full time before we play Watford at home. Class, absolutely class. Against third in the league as well. That's chasing seconds. Right then, half time, nil-nil. That is just, against third in the league, against third in the league, where we've been the clear underdogs this game, the clear anything that isn't favourites, and we've been battered all game so far. We have basically, every time Saints have made a mistake, we have done counter-attacks on it. Like Rose Vera said, we look like scoring. They've been a better team, and they look way more chances of scoring, but we do look like scoring today. The players are giving it everything tonight on a Sky Sports Friday night, just before New Year's Eve, in our South Coast game, away day of the season, in Hampshire, in Southampton, at St Mary's, and it's nil-nil. I will bite your hand off for a point after tonight so far, but imagine we, re re we repeat the last time we came here. It would be unbelievable, but uh, we'll see what happens. But what a half so far. We've been outplayed. The Saints have absolutely outplayed us. They did score as well, but Shea Adams was offside. Karma for the home park game, but so far, I hope I don't just speak too soon, but yeah, I'm tough with that first half so far. Reminds me of Bolton all over again from last season when we got outplayed and we were so happy with the point at the end with the nil-nil. And no Liam tonight. So I don't know what difference that's made so far either, but I've already said to him, if we win tonight, he's the reason why we win tonight. <laughs> He's in Butlins, but he's going to Butlins in Minehead. But yeah, so no Liam today in this episode, guys. But we have got Teeth joining us, Harvey Rose here. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that so far then? I am chuffed, Rose here. Against third in the league as well, chasing for second. Like I just said, I'm totally messed up right now. Yeah. I'm very happy with that performance, yeah. honestly. Someone should have scored. They should have scored. Yeah, they should have. They've been sloppy with some of their passes. They've been sloppy with some of their shots. But honestly, you've got to give credit to some of these players. At the last couple of weeks, we've been criticising them for the amount of work that they have not been putting in. No, I agree. The amount of effort that they haven't put yeah. into some of these games. This is the best I have seen of all of these players overall yeah, in one match that has non-stop running about, giving, them giving, them them them. giving it all, putting the chances in, taking the tackles. Brilliant. I agree. I agree completely. Improvement has come so far. Um, Even though we were a better team than this time. I still say Cardiff was the better game, even though we had that one control goal. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were better in that game. But, but we're making less mistakes here, and they should be more to the Cardiff. That's what got them the equaliser. Yeah, that's what got them the equaliser. Yeah, that's the better of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Joe Edwards and Pleggy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Joe Edwards especially. Those two have been so solid on that right-hand side. They need to be playing nearly every week. How we didn't start Joe Edwards at Cardiff, I don't know, because he was our best player against Birmingham as well. It's rotation. It's rotation that Deuce Lip and Nance are trying at the moment. 
Exactly. Um, anyone for Saints who've been impressed with so far? Um, Oh, Walker yeah. Pieces is having a lot on the right hand Walker side. Walker Pieces is having a lot of action there. Spanny Mum just done well to defend it. Yeah. He's having a lot of action over there. Joe Edwards has just done well to defend it. Yeah. It's been a mix, really. I mean, you could say that's been really good. I don't know. Yeah. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, it's all positive so far. Bite your hand off for a point so far. 0 0. Second half. Let's try and make it better. Come on, you greets. That's good song choice there by Saints as well. If we if we win today or draw today, I will be hearing this song. Not like Coventry who decided to play bloody Maya He, Maya Who, when we lost undeservedly and got robbed. Right, just for you, Liam, look what's going on over here. Right, guys, a There's a dark championship you, going on at St Mary's. Liam, run to oh, Southampton yeah. now and get yourself on the pitch. Da, 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 da. Ryan Hardy! Da, 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 da. Ryan Hardy! He's back! We saw Hardy training then. What do we do then? Bring him on, take Wayno off. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. Yeah. Hardy's back and Wayno's off. Roseby and I have called it. Oh, and even better, we're shooting this way this time. Ryan Hardy! Da, 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 da. Ryan Hardy, dun, 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 dun. Right, second half's underway. Come on, you greens. Hey! 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 That was rubbish. Ah, uh, no one there, no one there. That's it. Randall Corner. Oh, oh. oh my god, hang on! <laughs> Go on, Whitaker! Yes! 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 No, no, no! No, he's not! Oh my god, no! Are you taking the Oh, hell! Don't let them score now after that. We can't lose momentum. Of course they have. How does that work? How does that work? The goal scorer for the Saints, Charlie Alcaraz. Oh, don't give me Barnsley flashbacks. Yeah. Liam will definitely say it's offside. And onside, I know that. What the hell? Again, that's onside. That's a disgrace line. That's onside by a mile. By a mile. By a mile. You're a disgrace line, oh, you. You cheating. You stupid line. You only see when you're winning. Yeah, see when you're winning. Miles on side. Uh, oh my god, nearly 2 0. We've been absolutely done over by the f***ing Lino. He is miles on. We just don't get any luck against Southampton, do we? We had it at home park as well. Same f every f***ing week.
absolute disgrace, honestly. Referee 1 0. Go on, go on. Ref! Oh my. Absolute disgrace. PGMOL sacked the f out of them. I said this at Coventry. To the referee, 1 0. 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 Oh, f off. That's 2 0. I mean, now they fully deserve the lead, but I don't give a f We should have had our first goal. Don't get me wrong. They deserve the lead, but we, we should have had our f goal. That would have given us momentum and the lead. Now we've lost momentum. All because of one f stupid lino. We don't care. You've robbed us a goal. Well, it's obviously abundantly clear when one of your referees is from the Isle of Bloody White. What does that tell you? Nearly 3 0. Nearly 3 0. Top left there. Scar's on for Julio. Well, Dan Scar is back. Oh, my God. Hang on. Of course, Mizunu doesn't get booked for that. Yeah, it's only a long way down because we get f***ing corrupted by f***ing dinos. I rest every f***ing way day. We're trying to get to the Premier League. You f***ed it up. Come on. It's Kundal. What's this mug doing now? They're giving it, they're all at pie face right now. Hang on! Damn it! They're giving it, they're all at pie face over there. The Southampton fans. Keep going, lads. Keep going. Oh. Can you leave us alone? Just leave me God, score, score. You can f off, you mug. You can have that, Bazunu, you former Poppy boy. You lot can have that as well. Should be 2 2. Should be 2 2. It should be 2 2, regardless. That was brilliant for Hardy.
Hang on. No f off, Ref. Please, come on. To the right. Sage. I'm heartbroken, but we played very well. Absolute disgrace, genuinely. But we played well. We will beat Watford if we play like that. We will beat Watford at home if we play like that. To the referee, 2-1. To the referee, 2-1. To the referee, 2-1. To the referee. This is what we're here for, though, the boys. Well done, boys. Same Sue, couldn't be here to witness it, the stupid man. Oh, girls, being robbed. Absolute disgrace. It's clear the referees don't want us in this league. Goals already elsewhere, go Goals on. already elsewhere, yeah. So 1-1 one, one at Coventry so, Swansea, yeah. yeah. What's Bar the rest? Uh, Barnsley scored against Peterborough. I meant Championship, but yeah. Yeah, but we're going through every single score True. that's come through now. Um, other goals that's come through. Who cares about Wimbledon? I'm very sorry, Wimbledon, but <laughs> if we're not, we're, we're miles away. Here's your you. new enemy, Wimbledon, right here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, Hull City 1-0 up against Blackburn. Doesn't surprise me. I've got Hull to win today, tonight. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that Fair enough, good. everything else is nil-nil. I'm staying here tonight as well. Oh, I'm devastated with that. Absolutely devastated. We played so well. But there we are. Absolute joke that was at the end, honestly. It's always about the refs, isn't it? And the linos. Oh, look at me, I'm a ref, I'm a lino. Oh, look, I'll get my hair done and all that. F off. Played our socks off tonight for the linos and referees to do that. It's actually got, if that costs us for this season, then you know who to blame? All these corrupt officials in this league. Genuinely deserved a point tonight, we really did. But PGMOL have other ideas yet again. Still, it's one of my favorite away days on the calendar, so. It was glad to be back, but no, I am so gutted with that. All right, guys, um, you join me on the waterfront at Southampton. I'm staying here for two nights because uh, meeting a few friends from uni and all that. And also, well, it's New Year's, isn't it? So something to do. And going back to Plymouth on Sunday on the train, that's where I'll be filming my intro for Watford. So that'll be one to look out for. We're back home on Monday for New Year's Day. Obviously, we just started the second half of the season and all that. But we'll go on to more, more of my thoughts and my actual thoughts of the game later on at, to the closing of this video. But for now, we'll start it with this. But either way, it ended full time. Southampton 2, Plymouth 1. Absolutely gutted at the end. Like I said, I'm devastated and we'll go on to more of that from me um, later on once this clip is done. But for now, I have got a good friend of mine who I went to uni with in my master's degree at Solent University for the time being. Um, Diehard Saints fan he is. Absolutely loves it down here. I'm joined by Jordan, Southampton fan. How'd you feel after that then? Good result at the end. Now you Ipswich yeah. true, so you're catching up to them. So how are you feeling about it? Yeah, it, it, the other results went our way, so we'll take that. We yeah. did, we I mean, did. apart from Leicester, but other yeah, than that. Yeah, Leicester's fine. We just wanted to get, but get away Ipswich from Leeds. But Ipswich true, Leeds lost, so yeah. can't get a better night really, can you? Exactly. Get away from Leeds a little bit. Six points clear now. Now right. you're closer to Ipswich. Exactly. They drew with QPR, 0-0, so yeah. Three very good behind. result, really. Three but nah, it's fantastic. Fair play. But either way, though, how do you feel about Saints' performance tonight in general? Um, I thought, facing our yeah, spot, I thought we were good. Uh, we dominated the ball 
like massively. Yeah, I'd agree uh, with that. To be fair. Yeah, I, we created a lot of chances as well. We're just lacking in the final third a little bit. Yeah. Um, which hasn't really been the case for us at home recently, which was a bit surprising. Uh, we had an offside goal. We hit the post. Yeah. Uh, I think we hit the bar as well. But You'd, yeah, no, yeah, uh, you did. It was, uh, yeah, it was. It was a. It was a, a good game for us. A bit frustrating. Um, yeah, obviously we had a couple of things go our way, but I think it was probably deserved in the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, and yeah, good win, good win. Get another one, 17 unbeaten now. Uh, as it stands, of course, so yeah, um, you got Norwich on Monday, of course, Carrow Road. How are you feeling after that? And they've just lost to Millwall tonight as well. Yeah, I think I think um, it's going to be a hard game. We had a full draw with Norwich at the start. You of did, season. that is true. And obviously the last time you went to Carrow Road, you lost there as well. Yeah. So what are you yeah. thinking at the moment for no, Monday? No, I think, I, think we'll I think we'll be okay. We've got a couple of good players. I like Jonathan Ryan. I like, oh, he's a good player, I like isn't he? Um, so yeah, they might be a, a bit difficult to defend against, but... Uh, I mean, other than tonight, our defensive record's been really good. It was four clean sheets on the bounce. Probably should have been five tonight with the uh, with the Bazzini howler. But oh, yeah, we yeah. make mistakes. You know what? You have to say hands up if you uh, if we play like we do. Then you're going to make a few of them mistakes by the end of. Oh, absolutely, season. absolutely. Either way, but who do you say was your standout player tonight? Regardless. Um, Oh, I, lo I love Sam Adozi. I think he's really good. Um, just on the ball, technically. Yeah. Beats him out Doesn't time. surprise me. I backed him to yeah. score as well tonight. Uh, Jerry Ebo coming off the bench. He's, he's made a, um, a surprise turn in form. He's, honestly, last few games, he's been unbelievable. Um, him and him and Stuart Armstrong in midfield have been really good. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a couple of uh, average performances. I thought Charlie Alcaraz has played all right. He's obviously scored a worldie. Um, but yeah, it was just one of, them, one of them games that we just had to go over the line, I think. Nah, fair enough. How did you rate our performance tonight then? Oh, Here's the main bit good. for the Argyle fans yeah. tonight. I thought you were good. I think you travelled, your fans travelled in numbers, which was, oh, which yeah. was good to see. You were quite loud. Um, and yeah, you you're okay. If you defend like that for the rest of the season, I think I think you'll be fine. You were very solid. Um, obviously, it took a wildie to get through um, through the line. So, yeah, I, I think you'll be fine. I was quite, Looking at that game, I'm quite surprised that you're away from performing so bad but no, we, are, hopefully we, getting, we can't hit a barn door away from home yeah. mate so that's what it's been all yeah. season so far you'll get a new manager I think you'll be fine yeah no fair yeah. enough no, fair enough but no where do you see Southampton finishing in the table now uh, at the moment oh, midway point of the season now as well realistically I think um I think second's very much up for grabs. Okay. Um, I think Ipswich might tumble. Yeah. <laughs> we it can might, only hope we've still got we still got to play Ipswich, Leicester and Leeds. All, all the away way as well, yeah. yeah. So it should be yeah, it'll, it'll go until the end and we've got uh, Leeds at Adam Road last game of the season. Oh, that's so. mental, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah Obviously I went to Leeds back in November, freaking unbelievable away day and they yeah. wouldn't stop chanting about someone who was wearing chinos the whole 90 minutes so <laughs> yeah. just typical leads really but where do you think we'll finish at the moment uh, I think I if you think, had to give us one number yeah, between oh, 1 and 24 maybe maybe 16 I'll take that to yeah. be fair I'll happily take that I think it'll be tight uh, there's a few teams that are in and around your level but yeah, I think I think you've got maybe enough to. It's a mid-table finish for me, so I can't complain yeah. about that. At all, yeah, you really. take it when you. Take oh, it. first season back after 13 years. No, 100, yeah. 100, percent but no, it's um, be very interesting to see how we do for that. But no, of course, we've got Watford at home on Monday. At the moment, roughly, what do you reckon we'll do at the moment against Watford them? At home, and we're, we are a lot better at home than yeah, we are yeah, away, yeah. so it'll be interesting um, to see. Yeah, Watford were tricky when we played them, so. Uh, I mean, we should we should have won that game, but I, I think that I think it screams draw. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Doesn't shock me to be fair. I mean, Watford actually have been putting some class performance lately as well, so that wouldn't shock me either. But anyone for Argyle that stood out for you tonight, regardless, players wise. Oh, I think uh, I don't think Whitaker had a very good game. I was expecting. A little I bit thought he was more. brilliant tonight. For me, it was the Zaz that was our quiet one tonight. Well, at yeah, number eighteen, no, he, yeah, he did on loan from Villa. Whoever it was, you had a couple of misplaced passes. I don't think you did enough up up top to really, and especially in the first half, to really keep the pressure on. Yeah, um, yeah it just it felt like everything he did was fading to nothing. So maybe you need a little bit more of that. I mean, your centre backs were, were fairly decent. Um, they did, they did enough to they put loads of blocks in. Um, they did enough to keep us out uh, for the long run. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say probably the centre backs were good. Oh yeah, no Gibson and Pleggy, they've been freaking phenomenal for us this season. So I look forward to see more of that. Um, but obviously we got January coming as well, and I know you were telling me this um, before this recording. But anyone you're linked with in the transfer window yeah. so far, I heard you're linked with a certain Ahmed Diallo yeah. at the moment. But that would be nice. I think we do need um, maybe a bit more of a direct winger. 
um, off off the right. Uh, yeah, I would, I would I would definitely take him, obviously. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. And I guess to close this, I guess for now, um, this is someone I've been asking both Argyle fans and Southampton fans lately because we're now at the midway point of the season. Can you give me right now the three clubs going up, including the third club being the playoff winner, and then the three clubs that are getting relegated to League Ooh, One uh, this season? I think. Uh, I'm going to be boring. I'm going to say Leicester Saints and oh, okay. Leeds. <laughs> Fair enough. Leeds to win the playoff final. Leeds to win the playoffs, yeah. Fair enough. And the three going down. Three going down. All oh, Rotherham, oh, QPR, and oh, Birmingham. Birmingham. That's <laughs> yeah. a good shout, to be fair. He's not doing well, there is he, Rooney. No, so he's okay. He's doing, he might get back. No, that'll, be, that'll be interesting to see. But no, either way. Fair play on the result tonight. It'll be um, and yeah, well, we we might be playing you next season. Depends if you go up <laughs> yet. So yeah. what was your score prediction before the game? Yeah, I had I had three nil. I didn't think you were gonna score. Fair enough. But yeah, three nil would have been my shout. I thought you were gonna defend resiliently. But if we scored early, then it could have been a battering. Yeah, no, fair enough. And who did you have to score for Saints? For Saints, I wanted um a dozy to score. Not Saints, I wanted, really. Yeah, I had a dozy. To score. I actually wanted um. Che to, uh, to bag a couple um, just to maybe convince you get the crowd on his side oh, yeah. it doesn't move but it got one so I'll take it no fair enough <laughs> and was there anyone before the game you were really nervous for for Argyle tonight oh no not really fair enough <laughs> you know what I love the confidence and that's what this channel's all about is every football fan back in their own club and that's what we love to see so nah hats off to Jordan on that one guys honestly <laughs> And we now bring you to the outro of the episode. There's Ocean Village over there. One of Southampton's prettiest parts of the city. It's very lovely over there. I recommend a walk. There's the River Itchin. There's the other side into Wollstone. I'm going to wait for these cars to go past. So I get better light lighting and all that. And on the other side, again, I'm waiting for cars. Because they're nightmares. The other side, you have got... The other part of Wollstone. I know this well because I went to uni in Southampton. And then the rest of the city centre all over there. And there is St Mary's where we've just completed another away day. But yeah, we're on Itchin Bridge. Probably Southampton's most well-known bridge. There is another one across the border to the New Forest at Totten. But... In terms of city centre, I think this is Southampton's most well-known bridge. It's very convenient for St Mary's over there. But no, it's a lovely viewpoint to be fair, especially at daytime, especially at night. So yeah, I thought I'd walk here. Look at the rest of the city centre, obviously. The distance and all that. I mean, look, that's just city skyline there. Very nice. And film my outro. So there we are, guys. That is the end of this episode here in Southampton. It's a hard one to take at the end, but we're going to have to go through it all and round this all up once more. But of course, it ended full-time, Southampton 2, Plymouth 1. I'm sorry, that second half was an absolute joke, an absolute disgrace. It's the same every single week. PGMOL having no clue what they're doing with themselves, with refereeing in English football. It's an absolute disgrace. To be fair, I'm not going to blame this on Southampton at all because, to be honest with you, they completely battered us all game, especially in that first half. In that first half, they absolutely trounced us in every single department. And I knew the game plan that Snip and Nance had was to break up every mistake they make, let them have the possession, because Russell Martin is a possession-based manager 
and then go on the counter-attack when Saints make those mistakes and go for goal, which was exactly what we did in that first half. And we worked it very well. We just couldn't get any goals at the end, obviously, during that. It ended nil-nil at half-time. I was very positive and I would have bitten your hand off for a point tonight, considering Saints were the huge favourites coming in today, to today. Unsurprisingly so, I would have bitten your hand off for a point tonight, honestly, because, well, it would have been great. It was nil-nil at half-time. I was very positive. Joe Edwards was playing superb, especially. Hence why I was so f***ed off that we didn't start him at Cardiff on Boxing Day. Because I knew he needed to start after his performance versus Birmingham in our last home game. And today, tonight, his performance at St Mary's, in my opinion, was absolutely exceptional. I didn't think there was anything better you could see from Joe. And yeah, that, um, Whitaker was playing well. Mumba was Mumba had a decent game tonight. That was Mumba's best performance in a long while. And we'll get on to Mumba, especially in the second half. He did everything he could to mug off Kyle Walker Peters tonight. M mug off Kyle Walker Peters. Mumba's best performance in a long while, that was, to be honest. He gave Kyle Walker Peters a hard time tonight, to be honest. And to be fair, so did the Southampton players. Idozi, Shea Adams, Adam Armstrong. Alcaraz, who scored for Saints, of course. They all had brilliant games. Gave giving us a hard time, to be honest with you. Saints obviously were being the better team, though. They were dominating us, especially in that first half. But our players were doing every single possible bit to stay in this game and work their bloody socks off to do everything we could to get a result tonight. And I've got to give credit to them, to them all for that. Fair play to them all. I did think Azaz, though, had his quietest game in a long while, though. His quietest game in a long while. So I hope he bounces back when we play Watford in our next game at home. And then came the second half. Mumba scored for us, and that's where I was so happy for him. But guess what? It was all cheers and cheers. And then came the PGMOL, Linos and referees. I'm sorry, it happens too much now in not just this league, the Premier League, League One, League Two. I'm just, I'm fed up with it. I'm sorry. It's all about the refs and the bigger clubs. It's clear and obvious that PGMOL clearly wants us relegated from the championship this season. They can off the lot of them. Absolute idiots, honestly. That what they did to Mumba's goal was an absolute disgrace. I'll get the pictures up right now, like I did for Coventry. He is miles on size, as you can see in my edit there. Miles on size. We have been bent over time after time after time, away from home by these referees. We should have had a penalty versus Ipswich. We should have had a draw against Coventry when their ball was clearly out when they scored. And this time, we had a goal that was clearly onside, that gave us the lead against Southampton away, ruled out by these stupid referees. It's an absolute disgrace, an absolute farce, corruption at its finest. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just so done with all these referees. I would do a better job refereeing. My brother Joe, Wolves Academy, he'd do a lot better job refereeing. It's an absolute disgrace because they have been absolutely despicable this season to every single football club. It's an absolute joke, honestly. And you know what? Even though Saints battered us tonight, we still played very well tonight, I thought. And considering that that goal should have stood us and that Hardy scored later on, we should have bloody had a point tonight, in my opinion. I'm sorry, I don't care what people say. Yes, Southampton batter us. Yes, Southampton battered us. Yes, Saints were the better side. But we deserved a point tonight from our performance. We didn't deserve to win. I mean, had they given that goal to Mumba in the first place, you never know. We could have gone on to win it. The momentum in the game would have changed otherwise. And that would have put us right in the mood for getting our first away win of the season. But overall, with the game that we played tonight, we didn't deserve to win, to be honest with you. But we were robbed. We were robbed by the referees and the linos yet again and that's nothing against Southampton at all I give full credit to Southampton tonight they completely battered us and they delivered when we should have tried again once Mumba's goal was disallowed and 
You can tell they're pushing for autos now because Ipswich drop points tonight, nil-nil at home against QPR and Leeds lost at West Brom tonight at the Hawthorns. So you can tell Southampton are really pushing for autos now. They're now closer to Ips Ipswich in the table than they are to Leeds. They're really going to go for it, aren't they, Saints, now this season? It's going to be one hell of an automatic race. But no, in terms of referee and line oak decisions, we have been robbed yet again. Corruption at its finest. That goal should have stood. And who knows, we might have got a point, maybe even a win. But yeah, then Southampton's two goals came. Well taken, to be honest with you. Both scored by Alcaraz and yet again, none other than the bloody home park nightmares of Shea Adams. And then Ryan Hardy got the consolidation goal for us at the end. And you can tell now Ryan Hardy knows how to score versus Southampton. So, yeah. It's such a devastating result, to be honest, tonight. Because we deserved so much more, even though we got outclassed. But we were robbed at the same time by these stupid officials. It's an absolute joke. It's always about the refs isn't it oh look at me look at me i've had my hair cut i've had my hair done oh look at me mum look at me sister dad oh cousins look at me look at how sexy i look F off F off F off the lot of you that's all you care about is how attractive you look F can do your jobs properly you melons so it is a repeat of the home park game to be honest but a different pattern of frustration frustration but this time, this pattern of frustration reminds me exactly of Ipswich and exactly of Coventry. Because Ipswich, we should have won. Coventry, we shouldn't have lost because that ball was clearly out. We shouldn't have lost today. We shouldn't have lost tonight. We should have had a point in my eyes tonight. Because even though, had we scored, had they kept that Mumba goal, which was a clear goal as it was, who knows, we might have had the momentum to go on and win it. But we deserved a point tonight. Southampton battered us, but we deserved a point tonight. Robbed by the f***ing officials of what was a clear onside goal. Absolute disgrace. And once again, I hope PGMOL look at their heads in absolute shame and just, just take serious notes. Because seriously, the PGMOL and the, all these referees and linos need to be investigated by the FA. All of them. Every single lot of them. I don't care. The Premier League, the Championship, League One, League Two is all ruined by a bunch of corrupted scammers. And it's just a pain in the arse. I'm fed up with it. I'm absolutely fed up with it. Which means now, after that total disgraceful scam of a decision, we now leave Southampton empty-handed when we should have had a point. Happy New Year, Plymouth Argyle. Which means... Yeah, we now move on. We go back home on New Year's Day for our first game of 2024 and we're playing Watford at home. A club that we got a superb point out of at, out at Vicarage Road at the start of the season. I mean, I'm not wrong in saying that Southampton battered us tonight. They had 78% possession, we had 22 And you know what? That just goes back to my point that Russell Martin is a possession-based manager. It's mental, isn't it? But yeah, it is true. It is true. And to be fair, they had way more expected goals than us. 3.12 compared to our 0.59. They had 26 shots to our eight. And then chances, they had three big chances compared to our naught. So they did dominate us, to be honest with you. But like I said, should have been a point. We should have had a point tonight because the referees, once again, cannot do their f***ing jobs. And Linos, f***s off, the lot of them. Absolute mugs, the genuine lot of them. Thankfully, Bazunu had a howler tonight, and he's a former Pompey man, so that put a massive smile on my face when Hardy scores. So, I'll, I'll take that, to be honest with you. But, yeah, Harwood Bellis had a really good game for Southampton tonight, so I've got to give him full credit for that. We now move on to New Year's Day. We're playing Watford at home next for episode 26 of the season. It's a shame we're leaving here empty-handed. I'm absolutely devastated about that. So I'm going along the south coast of Hampshire and Dorset to get back to Devon on the Devon Cornwall border in my county Cornwall, my city Plymouth, and my small city Truro, um, obviously, as well. But... 
yeah, we go back home regardless on the Sunday because I'm staying here tonight to see a few friends from uni and all that that I went to uni with since I did my master's degree in Southampton. We're playing Watford on New Year's Day, so we will see you there. We're back home, so keep tuned for that one. And see you later, guys, because I'm going to cry for the, um, for the rest of tonight. So, yeah. Pain, pain, and more f pain. But the love of this club will carry on, as always. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Greens, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army! When they pull on the green, they're all Janners. Janners!